I think that also plays true not only to the negative, but the positive. Um, one of the key things I think that's different about what we do is we get so much information. Normally when somebody fills out a survey, it's either really positive or really negative. If they're going to go through that much effort, you know, an hour or two or three later after the fact to fill out a survey, to write a review on Google or whatever, it's going to have to be some sort of extreme case. So you're not really getting the full scope of what's actually going on in your organization. You're getting you know, the really good stuff and more often the really bad stuff. And what we're able to do is actually get the real, I, I mean, your business wouldn't exist if you weren't doing a good job most of the time, right? So you know that most of the customers are happy for a reasonable percentage of the time. And this kind of like gives them the opportunity to share what's working along with what isn't working. So you can focus, um, you can reinforce the good behaviors with your team and correct and retrain for the bad behaviors. Yeah, absolutely. And it is mm -hmm. totally a question of balance. And since we're here in the Marriott in DC, mm -hmm. right, for this particular event, I could call out two or three examples. Oh, absolutely. Where the staff here over the last four or five hours, actually, mm -hmm. have helped us get some stuff together. But you wouldn't necessarily expect them to fulfill that service, but they mm -hmm. kind of went out of their way. They did it with a smile on their face. And I feel compelled to give them some feedback and turn around and say, what a great job they've done. Mm -hmm. And I think most customers are like that. Mm -hmm. Most customers prefer things to be good than to be bad. Incredible business value in understanding what goes wrong, but an enormous amount of business value in understanding what goes right as well. Mm -hmm. You can compliment those staff, you can incentivize those staff, you can reward those staff. Um, either materially or just with kind words. Mm -hmm. and kind words go a hell of a long way. Mm -hmm. And it's the same for a customer as well. Like, for example, having this experience at the Marriott, we'll be happy to go to another Marriott conference center to do an event like this. If this was a negative experience, maybe we wouldn't be so apt to, to go to another Marriott event. And it's the same in a grocery store, at a deli, at a, at a uh, seafood counter, at uh, the bakery area, if you're getting a cake for your kid's birthday, if the person greets you with a smile, maybe you'll buy some cupcakes along with it, maybe you'll buy something else. But if they're not in a good mood and they're not friendly, you're less likely to go back there for the next birthday that you have. You're not gonna buy that second or third or fourth item that you otherwise would have bought. And it just, it, that stays with you forever, uh, whether you realize it or not. And to your point earlier about whether or not you're gonna go back into that store the next time you need something, that's always gonna stay with you. And what we are able to do is really track that, help people understand when they're doing well, when they're doing poorly, and that will just translate into a longer lifetime value of a customer, higher average uh, ticket price, um, and everything that goes along with that. Loyalty, that's what drives loyalty.